Music Awards. And at four foot eleven, she is technically Lil. Say hi, Lil Kim, everybody. I rock you like the fellas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really, you should have bought the trademark to Lil, because you were the first one, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Think of the money you could have made if you owned Lil. Because now we've got Lil Bow Wow. He's just Bow Wow now, I think. I know, yeah. We Lil got... Zane, yeah. Lil Romeo, Lil no. House on the Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> you would have made a killing with that. Lil Mo. Yeah, you got a lot of littles right now. But it's cool. They're all you know? growing up, though. <laughs> Every time I read anything about you, you're always associated with the phrase ghetto fabulous. I do mm. not know what ghetto fabulous is. I am ghetto ridiculous. <laughs> I assume it's because of your outrageous outfits. Yeah, probably, but, you know, get fabulous. Is oh, just... Lil' Kim, you had something to do with your outfits. Let's go through just a couple the of them, and you tell me what the hell was going on in your mind. Here's the first one. This is uh, June 2nd, 2001. Yeah! yeah. This is uh, the MTV Movie Awards at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. What is going on here? This makes me feel like we should all take time and stop and smell the flowers. <laughs> I love that outfit, actually. That was one of my favorites. I designed that. You did? And, um, yeah, I, you know, styled myself for that. And Do you I worry about like it coming? What if you sneeze? Are you worried about it just coming apart? <laughs> actually, I just got that idea. You know, I just took, like, a pot holder and held it up to my chest one day. You ever wear the pot? <laughs> and it, had a, it had a flower on it, and I was like, ooh, hell, I could use this. <laughs> As, and I just... Do I you just have the ganja of... version? <laughs> What's that? Oh, what's that, please? Yeah, that is a marijuana uh, this plant. This is from uh, 98. This is the, remember this? Yeah. You must the remember Noah's events Ark. from the gowns. <laughs> Noah's Ark outfit. This is so, the Lady Soul, of Soul Train. Yeah. yeah. I was really, really This is crazy. Big. What is this headpiece you're wearing? This looks like a, like a beekeeper. <laughs> like a really upscale You play too beekeeper. much. <laughs> no, come on. Tell me what is going I have one of these things. What is Do that? Is that I don't have the jewel version, though. The, Spider what is Girl. This? Diamonds? <laughs> diamonds. That means diamonds are definitely a girl's best friend. <laughs> Fellas are like, ah, oh, great. <laughs> you mean real diamonds? Yeah, it is. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is in 2000. Remember, this is the Chanel Soho yeah. Boutique opening party here in New York. Yeah. Actually, I you was You look just... like you're about to go skiing. <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Forget Aspen. Yeah, what? The uh, slopes in Brooklyn are hot. Yeah! I like that one. You yeah, rock it. And this is, this is the big one here. This is what we all remember. Now you know I gotta ask, this is at the MTV Video Music Awards here in New York in 99, I think Chris Rock hosted that year, one of the best years of the show, yeah. but you had the, the moment of a decade when Diana Ross fondled this boob here. <laughs> what was going on in her mind and what did you think when you came out and she was just like, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people were like, you know, how did you feel? But honestly, I think she was just giving me like a little motherly tap saying like, a girl, mother. do you know you got a boob hanging out? But what she is was this? What is this nice. over your boob? She, it's a pasty. We kind of just cut pieces of the outfit from the bottom of, because everything's like always... Shell. <laughs> everything's always long on me, so we always cut the bottom of the pants, if it's a skirt or whatever, and we make little things out of it, whether it's like a headpiece or either something to go around my... This is always a fun night at the Video Music Awards because of everybody that's backstage. Everybody's yeah. got great stories of that night. Do you have any great memories from that night? Well... Meeting anybody cool? Yeah, well, you know what? I kind of like... That, okay, I'll, I'll be truthful with y'all. <laughs> what? Well, I was like a sort of a halfway Britney fan, right? And, <laughs> and you know, I really liked her. I really did. And, you know, I thought she was a great entertainer. And then I met her. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, what happened? She was, she was really, really, you really... You had never met her before, and you, you respected her music no, or whatever a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And you wanted to meet her, say hi. Yeah. And so that would be easy for you, because you go backstage, and you're little Kim. Yeah. And she's got a guy that stands outside the dressing room. You say, look, I want to poke my head and say hi. <laughs> it seems easy. What happened? Well, actually, they came, and they were like, oh, my gosh, little Kim and Brittany, we need a picture with you. And she looked at me, and she walked away. Oh. Then, oh. and, yeah. How did she like, look at you? How did oh. you? <laughs> but but uh, then, you know, she just looked at me like, and then, you know, she walked away. Then, you know, they wanted us to do um, MTV news, um, news with Kurt. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, they 
finally introduced us, and I was like, hi, because you know I was full of life that day. I had the boob out. I was, yeah. I was just like, ah, you were I was chilling. feeling real naked. <laughs> right, that's all right. I was feeling real. So did free. she? Did you? What happened with, during the interview? Did she end up ever talking she to never, you? And no, she never. You know, they introduced us, and you know, I held my hand on, and she was just like, hi. She never even held her hand out back. You know, yeah, she was really, really stink. I didn't appreciate that, but it's all good. You know. So a lot of records. Talk really about big. celebrity boxing. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Lil Kim and Britney go oh, at it. Okay. Well, I do. And you know what? Because you'd, like... be, you'd be like you'd be like Lennox Lewis, I think. <laughs> yeah, Britney'd well, be like Tyson. You know, well, I, I I'm just like whatever. You know, I'm gonna keep doing me, and I tell, you know, I said to myself, I see it at the top. That's crazy, because you would think that they'd want you guys to work together. Yeah. Um, let's talk about rap for a second. When did you know you could rap? Little um, girl spitting rhymes? Yeah, when I was young. Like, I used to go to every block party. If you from the project, you know the block parties was the sh Yeah, we know. <laughs> we, I used to go to the block parties. I used to play around on the DJ set. I used to grab the mic. You know, I think everybody tried to do that. You know, then you, I mean, you know, just have fun. Like, you know, do all the hot dances and be in the middle of the crowd. Everybody be like, go, 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 kid. And you knew that was like your calling. This is something that you wanted to do. More so yeah. than just having fun, you know, when you were a kid. Yeah, because. You felt it. Yeah, it was in my heart. Like, and my lyrics mother. were just coming to you, yeah, if you were freestyling or just messing around with a beat. Yeah, like if I was in the car with my mother, you know, I would know every song that came on the radio before, like just by the... First note. The, yeah, the Name first that note. Name you were on it. I was on it. My mother was like, gosh, I wish you knew your schoolwork like that. Right. <laughs> See, no, I, you know, I just, I kind of had it in me from, since I was young. I would pick up my mother brushes and her, she put on her shoes and stuff like that. She always tell me that. And sing to the brush. But she thought I would be a movie star. She never thought Well, that. you are. We'll get to that in a second. But rap <laughs> lyrics are always under a microscope, right? Yeah. Everybody's got an opinion about them. However, with your lyrics in particular, I think they're best defined as, you know, uh, rap gone poetry. Do you guys agree? Do you know, let me, let me read some of Lil' Kim's lyrics. <laughs> True art and poetry. Maybe we can dim the lights just a little bit. Imagine, ladies, you're out at like a picnic with your man. <laughs> You got a little wine, maybe a little Cristal, whatever your choice yeah, yeah, is. Chris, Chris, Chris. And this is. But nowadays, blue hypnotize. <laughs> All right. The spokesman is in the building. That's nice. Send a case to last call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, four bottles. Okay, so now this is very romantic here. You're out. You're with your man, and you start to recite some words to "Not Tonight" by Lil Kim. Oh Shh. Ladies. <laughs> Whisper in my ear. He wanna get us on. <laughs> I dug him, so I f him. It wasn't nothing. He wanted me to f him, but I didn't. I ain't fronting. The sex was whack, a four stroke creep. I jumped on his, d rode his ass to sleep. Poetry. Poetry from your Right? That's town. Seuss ain't, uh, yeah. Dr. Seuss ain't got nothing on you. At all. The, the real question after reading that, it jokes aside, is there ever a time when you're in the studio or if you're writing or if you punch in, I don't know how you lay your rhymes down, that you listen back to the track and go, okay, that is a little too hardcore. That's a little much. Yeah, but by then it sounded real good, so. <laughs> you don't ever like, have to censor yourself or think who might hear it, what they might think of you. You don't care, right? That's the whole idea. Yeah, well, at first I did, but then when Biggie was around, he was like, girl, if you don't just go in that booth and spit that rhyme, you know, so it kind of gave me more of, you know, yeah, I was just more, yeah, I was more encouraged to do it because it was different and it was real and it was something that hadn't been done. Early on, how did the other female rappers feel about you just spitting lyrics that were so hardcore that they probably hadn't heard? from another lady because you were the first really a lot of them were supportive because they were like oh my gosh I, I couldn't wait for a female to come back and you know go at the men but then there's a few haters but right whatever. I want to mention we're running out of time um Joanna man you're in this movie which is awesome and you have an album coming out in November yeah November November right, good luck with that. Well, come back and perform so a track off the record of course all right Lil Kim everybody thank you so much I want to take a break and right back right